Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be featuring a team based all around Dragalgy and its counterpart Dragon Dracozolt. So, as you can see, the team is on your screen in front of you now. We've got two speed control mods in here. We've got the Trick Room with the Dust Club supporting mainly the Dragalgy, the Amoongus, and uh, the Azumarill. And then we've got the, the more speedier version of the team with the uh, Talonflame and the Dracozolt. The nice thing about the team is the Azumarill and the Amoongus can kind of work in both uh, speed control methods that we're going for here. So you now the Amoongus is going to be there for the redirection kind of disruption with Spore. Uh, and things along those lines gives us a grass type as well to help us out against some of those maybe trickier, bulkier water types. And then Azumarill as well with the belly drum set that we went for in this particular build that can perform with Aqua Jet uh, and kind of ignore any speed control with that priority attack there. So as always, the team is the team pop. The team paste is down in the description below. There is a... Uh, as always, there is a poker paste down in the description below, and uh, after a couple of games in today's episode, I'll throw the rental up for this team. So hopefully you guys, if you do try it, you enjoy it. Dragalgy is one of those Pokemon. It's interesting, isn't it? It, uh, it had a lot of popularity at the very start of the format when it got introduced with the Isle of Armor, of course, and it's kind of fallen off a little bit, but I still think it's a very strong Pokemon, you know? Uh, we've... Primarina is super popular at the minute and it really handles that in Trick Room really well. So you've got to watch out for Amoongus opposing Amoongus because it can kind of shut down um, some of your, uh, I guess, momentum that you're going to try and build there. But other than that, if you don't see it like we don't here, most of the time you're going to have a good time against uh, opposing Trick Room stuff. So let's see what we've got. We've got Glade, Azumarill, uh, a lot of Marowak, Durant. Volcarona and Grimmsnarl. So uh, the Durant does worry me slightly. Um, now it's whether or not we want to go <clears throat> with Tailwind up top with Talonflame maybe. Um, just as a way to kind of check Durant. The, the Grimmsnarl kind of indicates there may be some sort of potential fake out support there. And that would be a little bit of an issue. But I mean Talonflame does really well against uh, the Volcarona and the Durant. They're more like speedier. Pokemon on the, my opponent's team. So I think I will go Talonflame just for the reasons to help us have an answer at least against Durant. Uh, I think Dusclops is quite good. Dragalgy will go with. Um, Draco's ult here isn't the best just because of the Alola Marowak that we see with the Lightning Rod that'll cause us all sorts of issues. Um, I think Dragalgy can deal with Azumarill pretty well. Um, and I feel like, like we could bring Amoongus, but. I think our own Azumarill might be a better shout here. And although we've not got redirection support in this one uh, to help it out, I think it can still perform pretty well if we can get ourselves into a decent situation. So we'll get into this first one and uh, we'll see what we can do. Hope you guys are all well and uh, had a good weekend. And um, as always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, uh, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new for more sort of content like this and other Pokemon content. We've got Crown Tundra just around the corner. So ramping up for all of that content and coverage when Crown Tundra does drop. Very excited about that. So I cannot wait. Um, it's only a couple of weeks this this Thursday, two weeks. So it's not long at all. And uh, we do see a room service on the uh, the Gallade, which is interesting. Um, now we do have options to <coughs> attack into both Pokemon if we want. Um, and we could just go maybe. You know, a nice option would probably be go for a Brave Bird into the Glade and maybe Trick Room as well. We could do that. Wouldn't be a bad play. Because the Volcarona is not really... I mean, it can Rage Powder here, but it's still going to take a, a hefty chunk of damage. Talonflame is kind of the thing that we could probably sack at the minute. Um, we'll get into the Gravity a little bit later. Hopefully, we can have it come into play at some point. There is a reason for it. There's a couple of reasons on this team for the Gravity. So, um, we'll see if we can get that working. Okay. Well, that makes quick work of the Glade. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't quite think it would pick up the knockout, but uh, we'll, we'll take that. And then the Struggle Bug. An attack that does drop a special attack by one stage. A bit like Snarl, uh, but a bug type move. So not hitting us for super effective damage as we do get our Trick Room up, which is nice. Um, 
Yeah, I wonder what they're going to bring in. Maybe a Lola Marowak now. It makes sense if you see it. Uh, they probably won't. Oh, it's a Zoomerel. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I think what we'll do is we will switch to Dragology. And we will go for a Bulldoze. While well, we've got the opportunity to. Like, ideally, you really want to be maxing Dragology and then getting the Bulldoze off. But... Um, just to reduce the damage that you've got uh, coming out from your Disclops. But at this point, I think we're probably all right. The big worry here is if the Azumarill <clears throat> does go for a Belly Drum. Now that would be that would be bad. But let's hope it doesn't. Um, and we can get Dragalgy in and get a Weakness Policy. The other option we could have went for is just switch to Dragalgy here. And um, maybe went for... A nightshade into Volcarona that's likely got Rage Powder, so at least we're getting damage onto it, so we can guarantee we pick up the knockout onto it a following turn. We are going to see the Azumarill max, it's not um, going to go for <coughs> any belly drum, but uh, I hope it doesn't go for um, max geyser into dragalgy because that'll mean we take far too much damage which would not be great we do get dragalgy in obviously in proc our weakness policy but we may be being a little bit impatient with it we might have been better off going for just letting uh talent flame go down yeah and then maybe getting dragalgy in the next turn because this is gonna like okay it's into dust clops that's way better the rain goes up that's fine the only worry is that the um, the Azumarill is potentially going to be... Um, okay, there's a struggle bug. Not great. Kind of covering the Dragalgy switch in, I guess. Um, it could be Assault Vest, which makes it a bit more difficult to break down. For sure. Now, the rain is up. Um, the Azumarill is going to hit a bit harder. And I've not changed the move. This should be Focus Blast. So, in our second game today, I will change that. That should be Focus Blast. Now, we could max and go after the Volcarona. Which isn't actually a bad idea. Um, it's just... <laughs> the Azumarill is going to hit us with a max Starfall. I don't expect it to pick up the Knockout. Although, it is Life Orb, isn't it? Um... You might be better off just max got uh, could we just protect mm, nah I think we start stacking up the damage now while we can uh, I think we go for the max ooze into Azumarill and we just go for a nightshade as well just try and get damage into it I don't expect a plus one to take the Azumarill down but <clears throat> I'm hoping that we're going to be able to take at least a max starfall from it I'm hoping. I'm hoping. It is neutral, so we're not. It's not super effective, so it's not going to be doing super effective damage. So we should be able to take it. Um, okay, the rage powder coming out now, which is fine, because this means we're just get, like as long as we take the starfall, we should be in a good spot. Um, we just got to keep in mind if starfall does come out, the misty terrain will be set up, and our dragon type attacks are going to be weakened. So we're not going to be able to hit as hard with those, but we do get the max ooze off. We uh, confirm that we are slower than this Azumaro, which is good. Um, we get a special attack boost, putting us up to plus two once again, which is good. Now, can we take the Starfall? Here we go. Let's hope we can. What's into Dusclops? Attacking into that slot, so leaving Dragalgy alone, which I really don't mind, honestly. Like, um, we haven't got Pain Split, but at this point, I don't mind. Like, in the back... We've got to start thinking about our end game now because the the my opponent's down to the last two Pokemon. So if we can get rid of the Azumarill, um, and it's the uh, the Durant. Okay, I think what we'll do is just go for a Geyser into Durant, and um, we'll go for a, a Nightshade into Azumarill here. Uh, there's a Nightshade. We get some damage off into it. It's not going to be big damage at all. Uh, we get the geyser. This should take down the Durant. And then with what we've got left, we should be able to deal with the Azumarill. Um, and the, yeah, the geyser is enough. It's not Sash. There was a little bit of a, a thought there. It's like, is it going to be Sash? Should we Nightshade into it as well? But no need to. Um, okay, my opponent really, really, really desperate to get rid of um, this Dusclops. So the Trick Room can't go back up. But that's fine. Uh, their max turns have 
ended now um, and we're going to be in a nice position to go for the max ooze and I think we got belly drum as well um, with our zoom now because depending on the speed of well their zoom roll is minus one so when the trick room ends our zoom roll will be faster than theirs um, and there's a likelihood that they protect here so we can take advantage of that protect and kind of punish that protect with a belly drum of our own um, if they're not expecting it so um, yeah, they're just going to cancel. I feel like we're in a, a really good spot there. I mean, the, the KO turn one onto the Gallade, which was probably my opponent's way to maybe reverse the Trick Room. Um, I think maybe they would have been better off going Rage part of that turn, pulling it away, protecting the Gallade, so they could reverse the Trick Room. And if Volcarona goes down there, then you get Durant onto the field, I think. And then that puts us in a really awkward position. Okay, we've got our next opponent of the episode. I have changed the Dr the Dragalgy set as well, like I mentioned earlier, to the Focus Blast from Hydro Pump, as initially was meant to be on that set uh, for this team. Uh, we've got our next opponent anyway, like I say, Gabos, and they are playing a team of Kingdra, Politoed, Arcanine, Mudsdale, Ferrothorn and Sableye. So good job we've changed to the Focus Blast because Sableye obviously popping up makes things a little bit awkward for us um, going forward. Now, um, I think we need to guarantee our Trick Room up here. Obviously the Mudsdale is a big problem for us. Um, it does uh, cause us a lot of issues, especially with the um, the high horsepower, the, the ground type attacks into our Dragalgy. Um, so we need to be careful for that. I think Amoongus kind of checks it pretty nicely. Um, it's what we want as our kind of final fourth Pokemon because we've got a good way, solid way to set Trick Room up here between um, Among Us and Dusclops. We can get Galgi in pretty quick, safely, I guess. Um, and then it's what we want as our fourth Pokemon. I think Azumarill. Like if you look at my opponent's team, you look at the Kingdra, Politoed, Azumarill does really well against those. Arcanine does extremely well. If the rain's up, it does well against the Mudsdale. Not too bad against Ferrothorn if we can get a belly drum off. It's not the greatest. It uh, depends on the set and then uh, obviously does amazingly well against Sableye with the play rock there. So all in all, it's probably the best pick we've got for that final slot. Um, big thing I'm concerned about is obviously the Mudsdale in the Trick Room environment. Especially if it's my opponent's kind of go-to max Pokemon. It makes things very difficult for us to get uh, a lot of momentum going with Dragalgy. But at the same time... Um, we shouldn't worry too much about it because the Ferrothorn is probably more important for us to uh, to consider dealing with here than, than anything else. Uh, okay, we do see the Mudsdale and the Sableye. Now, I think we're probably going to see Fake Out or Taunt on uh, the Sableye. Now, I think what we'll do is go for a Trick Room. Um, what's more important to is getting a Trick Room up potentially. Or hmm, getting putting that Mudsdale to sleep because we could potentially Trick Room and protect, or we could just spore and like we either get the spore off into the Mudsdale, um, or or we Trick Room uh, because they can only shut one thing down with that save lie right now. They can shut down our trick room or they can shut down our spore. It's more likely they're going to shut down our spore, which is why I was hesitating there. Maybe it'd be better to maybe protect the Amoongus here. And then the next turn we can shut the Mudsdale down. But we'll see what they go for. Right. Oh, it's fake out. Yeah, well, we don't mind that at all because it means the next turn, yeah, we can put that Mudsdale to sleep and just shut it down, which is which is ideal. Um, we are going to be able to take the max quake, which is excellent. Um, the only thing we do need to worry about, of course, is maybe a quash from uh, the Sableye, and that would be into the Amoongus, which would mean we aren't able to get our spore off until <laughs> the very last turn with how quash works there. Um, I don't really feel like I want to be in yet as well. That's the other thing. Has it got quash? Has it got Quash? Does it make sense for this team to have Quash in it? I mean, it always makes sense for Sableye to have Quash. Why not though? Fake Out. Could have Taunt. Could have Taunt. Um, I think we just go for a Nightshade into Sableye. Break a potential Sash there. I'm going to risk it and go for a Spore because, it, like... You know, it has got Quash. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. They're going to get rid of the Amoongus. I mean, the other thing to think about here is that we just protect 
and maybe take some damage from the, the mud still, um, otherwise you get knocked out. Uh, you are going to see a steel spike. The mud still doing everything correct to set itself up for um, later on in this game. You've got to think what else has that Sable I got, maybe foul play Rain Dance. Rain Dance would make a lot of sense on this team. Um, I go to Galgi here, I do go as in row. <coughs> um, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get a belly drum off. Because we could go a zoom roll. Try and get a belly drum off. Uh, or we could go to Kalji, Max God. Or we go Bulldoze. And just try and get rid of the Sableye. The Galgi, it won't underspeed the Mudsdale. That's the only thing. Uh, but we could deny. Um... I think we go for another Nightshade. I think Max Guarding is probably... I know we're going to waste a turn of our Max, but like they're not going to attack into Dusclops here. They're going to attack into Dragalgy. That means they're not getting any more additional boosts. And Max, we should be able to take just a high horsepower, whereas I'm not 100% sure we're going to take... Well, we'll probably take a Max Quake, but it's going to do way more damage than a high horsepower would. Um, so we'll waste a turn of our Max. Uh, which is worth it to waste a turn of their max turn. I think that plays out a little bit better. So let's see if we can get Dragalgy gone. We're only going to have two turns to, to take advantage of Dragalgy though. So we'll have to be very careful with how we play this. Now another Nightshade after this should be enough to take down that Sableye. Potentially. There's the max quake. And we're going to see... Knock off. Ah, okay. Hmm, no taunt. No, maybe, maybe, but I still think they're probably, they've probably got. Now they're going to quash us this next turn, 100%. Uh, now I don't know if it's worth even bulldozing here. I think it might be worth just going for a nightshade and... <coughs> and... And... I need to see how many turns I've got left. We've only got many. Up for Max Wormwind into the, the Mudsdale because I think they're going to proc our weakness policy anyway. There's the Nightshade. Hopefully, this picks up the knockout. Could be enough. Oh, it's not quite. Okay, so we dismiss that. Horsepower. We run into Dusclops. Want rid of that Pokemon, which is interesting. We are going to get the Wormwind. <clears throat> okay, which takes the Mudsdale's attack down to minus one. It's not so much of a threat. Now, we could go for the Bulldozers next turn. Because Bulldoze should be enough to get the, the save line, and then, yeah, we will be able to get, maybe... Oh, we're not going to get a max lose, though, are we? Another knockoff. Um, yeah, I think we need to potentially go for our gravity here. Um, in all honesty, if we're kind of prepping for... Hmm, this is tricky. Actually, we go for, I think we just go Bulldoze, and we get rid of the Mudsdale now. We're not going to be able to get the gravity up though. We just, the bulldoze will be able to get rid of this hit. Oh, Sable are going to switch out, which is actually way better for us. Arcanine coming in. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Because the max worm wins, ideal. And then we get a zoom rail in. Uh, if Dusclops goes down this turn, which you would kind of assume it will. Um, okay. We're going to get a weakness policy boost. And it looks like Dragalge is kind of going to be left alone when my opponent's kind of prioritizing getting rid of the trick room, which isn't a bad bad thing to do at all, you know, you get rid of the speed control from the opponent's side of the field and the match becomes a lot easier for yourself, so. Uh, we still haven't picked up a knockout though, so that's that's the big thing, what we need to do now. Um, and we're still getting another stamina boost, but not too concerning for us since we're kind of more special uh, orientated and yeah, we're going to just see another high horsepower into the disc drops. So, we should be able to get rid of the Mudsdale, which is ideal with a worm run. Put the Arcanine down to minus one, uh, but our trick room will end. Uh, but we do have a zoom roll in the back coming, um, and if <laughs> if there is a ferrothorn, we've got to hope that our uh, focus blasts are on point because a plus two focus blast should take down a ferrothorn, and we don't really need to concern ourselves too much with the iron defense boosts either. So that's something that we've got kind of on our side a little bit. Right, let's see what my pony brings in. It'd be the Ferrothorn, potentially, because you kind of feel safe, I think, a lot of the time in front of Dragalgy with Ferrothorn. Like, you're not really taking any damage from the Sludge Bomb, the Poison attacks, the Dragon-type attacks, you're not. Um, 
and we do see it come onto the field now so uh, this tech that we've built in specifically for this matchup where otherwise it would be very difficult for us to deal with um, could could be exactly what we need uh, to, to happen right now so I'm going to go all in on this turn I think we need to I think we go belly drum um, and we'll go focus blast into Ferrothorn like I say the Arcanine might snarl here but yeah the Will-O-Wisps too tempting onto the zoom now now that's not too bad because we'll still get the, the belly drum off it's just about a focus blast hitting it should do there are less accurate moves more popular in this format that hit constantly so I'm feeling confident that the focus blast from our plus two Dragology is going to hit this Ferrothorn and knock it out and we're going to be all good going forward Ooh, it's faster than Dragology of course we have had the bulldoze so it does make sense it does go for the leech seed Focus Blast hits, come on, take it down. There we go. <laughs> okay, it works, okay. So yeah, that's exactly why it's there. Not the most reliable, but most of the time you're gonna be getting that, um, you're really gonna be getting your gravity up with Dusclops when the trick room ends. So Bugalji isn't in that really awkward position where um, <clears throat> you're kind of worrying about uh, hitting uh, well, with the gravity up, you kind of guarantee that you're going to hit whatever. Um, so we'll just protect because we know there's fake out potential there from the save line. Um, and I think this next turn, what we'll do is we'll just sludge bomb the Arcanine and we will aqua jet the save line to see a flamethrower. So my opponent's really not, it doesn't look like they've got really great ways to hit us. Um, like I say, they are loose seeded. So we are seeded, but that, the thing is, uh, an aqua jet's still going to take down the uh, the sable eye. We are burned, but we have got the belly drum off, so that's the big thing for us here. So we'll aqua jet the sable eye, and we will just safely sludge bomb the arcanine. We are plus two, so it should be enough with adaptability, I would imagine, as the aqua jet into sable eye. And throw that's all my opponent's got to hit us with, which isn't really the most ideal way of an offense against these Pokemon and the Sludge Bomb picking up the win there. So that's perfect. And uh, we pick up a second victory today, which is very good, especially after making those changes, which I said, you know, realizing in the first game I hadn't put the Focus Blast on there, but you know, the Hydro Pump did come in handy against that Durant. So I think both work, but. Um, if we don't have that kind of move on uh, Dragalgy, we are struggling a lot more against Ferrothorn. You could always throw a superpower on maybe something like Azumarill, but I feel like the Focus Blast kind of fits a niche there, which uh, which really does help the team out. So we will get the rental team for you, my friends. And uh, if you try the team out, as always, please let me know down in the comment section if you do try it out. I'd love to know if you've had fun with the team. It is a, uh, it's very fun to play around with and Dragalgy is still a very good Pokemon in this format that we haven't seen the best of yet. So uh, do let me know if you do try it out. And uh, like I said, there is a rental team for you to take away and try. And we've got the updated version with, Ooh, there we go, Focus Blast right there. Right there on Dragology that did hit and take down that Ferrothorn. So that was a nice moment in the uh, the episode and obviously really nice because it is the kind of centerpiece of the Dragology kind of build there to uh, help us out with uh, some of the, the, the more difficult matchups that we may see in this series. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed today's episode, as always, please remember to drop a like on the video. It'll take two seconds. It really helps the video out and lets me know that you enjoy this sort of content. If you're new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button or think about it because we have lots of content like this coming out. And obviously with Crown Tundra around the corner, we're gearing up for all of that content with the new DLC dropping in two weeks time, which is very exciting. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. And I'll see you all for the next one. Sun Take care and bye-bye.